Okay, so I'm gonna preface this. In no way am I an expert in this. I've literally never painted my brake calipers before. So we're just gonna get started into it. I have a couple more things I've been wanting to do to the car. So I'll see how much I can get done, but it is kind of already late into the day. So I'm gonna put this in a time lapse real quick and then, yeah. Put in the time lapse and then I'll get to it when I actually can get to it. First, I gotta take off the wheel, jack it up. I gotta take off the wheel. Then I'm gonna get to the caliper and then I'll do it all then. Okay. See you guys in. Okay, we have that off now. It's time to actually paint the calipers. Okay, so there's our caliper right here. There's a brake pad underneath and we're not gonna uh, paint the back of the brake pad. It doesn't technically matter as it is gonna heat up, but the paint is resistant to heat, so we should be good. But, anyways, I'm still going to make sure that it's covered properly and do the best I can by tucking and moving the bag I have. It's going to cover up as much as we can and then it's time to paint. Okay, so as you can see, I have isolated everything except for the caliper itself. Underneath, it's all tucked up. On every side, it's all tucked around. It's completely covered. We should be good to paint. So I'm going to now spray paint. And before you paint anything, you always have to clean the surface. So I'm going to use a toothbrush and my mixture of... It's essentially going to break down the bits of dirt inside of it. It's just a mixture of soap and some other things. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub it down, make sure it's completely clean, and then we're going to actually get to painting it. So now as you can see, what it's doing is breaking down all the bits of dirt on the rusted brake caliper itself. I'm, once I do this, I'm going to wipe it down and let it sit for a bit, soak up all the stuff, and then I'm going to wipe it down, and then we're going to be ready to paint. Now, as I shake up the spray paint, another thing I do recommend, instead of just a toothbrush, you could use a wire brush. That's going to be able to break up a lot of the rust and a lot of the dirt that's stuck onto the metal a lot better than a toothbrush. I'm using what I have at my disposal, so if you do guys do have a wire metal brush, absolutely use that. It's going to be able to break down everything on the thing so much better. In the meantime, this is going to be able to withstand heat, this uh, paint, spray paint, and it's rust protectant. So I'm going to do coat this should be able to protect the caliper and prevent it from rusting so let's get to it it is now time for spray painting you should be wearing a mask if you're spray painting indoors um unfortunately i don't have the option of doing it outdoors right now it is snowing and a little bit of hail so we're gonna do with what we got let's do this I'll lay it on one coat for now. We're going to give it a break, and then we're going to go back and do a second coat in a sec. But for now, it looks really good. It's adhering to the metal, and it's not running or uh, globbing up at all. Okay, so I just quickly went over it with a second coat. As you can see, my plastic is wrapped all the way back underneath this. But if you're looking at the paint itself, it's coming on really well, and it's so much darker than it was before. You can clearly tell on the side where I didn't get to that this was just the plain old metal that it used to be, and then now this glossy slick black brake caliper so in the meantime of when i'm letting the tire or the caliper itself dry i'm gonna attend to my wheel real quick these are niche methos wheels uh but they have seen better days so i'm gonna quickly wipe it down give it a bit of a clean the caliper turned out beautiful i'm loving it um time to put back on the wheel Torque, that, torque it back down, and then we're going to take this off and then do the back. Look at that nice black caliper resting in the back. You can see the brake pad and then the nice black caliper. It looks so good with the accents of the wheel. So, now it is time. We're going to set up in the back. Do the same thing to this back wheel. I uh, think it has a little bit of a smaller caliper. It is in a bit of a different position and it has a wider disc. So it's going to take a sec to, I think, take off the wheels and put it, tape it all up and get it ready to paint. So I'll check in with you guys when we have that done. Got done doing two coatings of making this black it looks incredible then went over got done cleaning my wheel um 
And yeah, it's going well. I think I'm gonna reverse the car, come back in, and then put it the other side. And then I think my next video is gonna be about my wrap. So you probably didn't see this leading up until this, but my car actually has a wrap done to it. It's, it's just essentially spray paint designed. Um, but yeah, it. I really like it. Me and my friends did it, and it's inspiration. I'll explain the inspiration behind this some other time, but there's inspiration behind it. means a lot to me. It's really cool. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for this to dry, essentially. These are, this is quick drying paint, and it's very glossy, but as I touch it, as you'll see, I'm not getting any paint on my finger, so it is ready to take off. So, yeah, I'm going to take this off. Let's see how it looks. Oh my god, does that look great. I'm in love. And that caliper just came out great. It looks great. Did a couple coats on it. Looking pristine. Okay. Now, I gotta put it back on the wheel. And then, from there, ratchet it down. Take it out. And we have one more wheel to do. It's that back one right there. So, let's get to it. this wheel i'm all done it looks all good i'm waiting for it to dry this is its second coat now this is the wheel it looks good it's time to put this wheel on and then yeah i'll take some pictures of it get it in the sun and let's see how it's looking how did i even hold up i forgot how i did this there we go damn that is that's gonna look so fucking good behind this wheel yeah, the wheel is super clean now. I went through and cleaned it up. Oh, there's some more dust I got on it, but no, it's looking good. Um, I'm going to put that on and then torque down it, and then we're good to go. Okay, it's all done. Come here. I'm gonna bring it into the light. And we'll see how it's looking. Okay, guys, thanks for watching the video, and don't forget, the sky is the limit. I'll see you guys next time.